You presume that when you saw me as a black patient laying in that bed, that my life was less important. You're listening to maternal expert and attorney Bianca Dickerson Williams. She's a mother who suffered catastrophic life altering injuries during the delivery of her second child. She's now speaking out and she wants to help black mothers all over the country. And whether you thought about it or not, your level of care and treatment for me went down. Is that deliberate or is that not deliberate? I think that, you know, we have to have these conversations because as a byproduct of that is that we're walking in and we've made judgments now about this particular individual. And those judgments that we've made, whether we were intending to to do them or not, have caused our death rates and our injury rates to skyrocket. And we're the only race that's up there. So what does that mean? How do we then explain the statistical data coming out of the Center for Disease Control and the Department of Health and Human Services? We're six times more likely to die or be injured in childbirth. Black women are more likely to die or be injured in the delivery room than any other race. We are at war in the delivery room in hospitals all across America. We wanted to bring this to light and Bianca Dickerson Williams wants you to call her 310-579-9896. That's 310-579-9896. This is a crisis. And if you need to talk to somebody, talk to Bianca. 310-579-9896. This is the G Podcast Daily. Today is October 2nd, 2023, and this is the G Podcast Daily. What's up, y'all? It's Tommy B, and this is five minutes of news and knowledge to help you get through your day. Let's get it. Start the clock. And on this day, it's October 2nd. And on this day in history, Nat Turner was born in Southampton, Virginia in 1799. Believing himself called by God to free his fellow bondsmen, Turner became a leader of one of the most famous slave revolts involving 60 to 80 slaves. Here's news from UNN with Alexander Caden. This is UNN, Urban Network News, national news and information for and about people of color. I'm Alexander Caden. Las Vegas police have arrested a man in the deadly 1996 drive-by shooting of Tupac Shakur that happened on the Las Vegas Strip 27 years ago. Dwayne Keefe D. Davis was arrested, although the exact charge or charges were not immediately clear. Davis has long been known to investigators and has himself admitted in interviews and in his 2019 tell-all memoir, Compton Street Legend, that he was in the Cadillac where the gunfire erupted during the September 1996 six drive-by shooting. Tupac was 25 when he was gunned down. The U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission filed a lawsuit in the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of California accusing Tesla of violating Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 by subjecting black staffers at the Fremont, California production facility to racial harassment, stereotyping, and hostility since at least May of 2015. Tesla allegedly broke federal law by tolerating white widespread and ongoing racial harassment of its black employees and by subjecting some of those workers to retaliation for opposing the harassment. 60 years after Hattie McDaniel's Oscar went missing, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences will replace it. The Academy will present the replacement Oscar for McDaniel, who made history with her win for Gone with the Wind in 1939 to Howard University's Chadwick A. Bozeman College of Fine Arts. Federal student loan borrowers will need to start making payments again this month after a three-year pause due to the pandemic. Anthony Nesty made history when he was picked to lead the U.S. men's swimming team in Paris, where he'll become the first black head coach of the American swim team at the Olympics. The U.S. team will be decided at the Olympic trials, which will be held next June at Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. You've been listening to UNN Urban Network News. Visit our website at myunn.net. Thanks, AK. Episode 195, Justice for Tupac is out. Make sure you download, listen, and subscribe. Here's a clip. Your G clip of the day. Uh, PSA 1 for this episode. Uh, our love and, and really our prayers go to our folks in New York, man. Our friends, our family up there. After up to eight inches of rain fell this week, uh, flooding in the streets, subways, LaGuardia Airport. Here's to your recovery. Here's to a speedy recovery. Uh, PSA 2, and this comes from a Millennial Nick, he passed this on to me with the uh, strikes in Hollywood seem to be ending uh, on the pathway to uh, being resolved. 
Y'all better go out and find some cheap DVDs. My recommendation to you, because, you know, get your favorite movies, your favorite shows, and just load up, you know, find these dollar bins, five dollar bins, because these new deals, they're going to pass um, it on to the consumer. I'm, I'm really confident that's going to happen. Higher streaming fees. I remember you thought you got rid of cable, but now these streaming fees are going up, y'all. Prepare yourself. Don't be held hostage by digital Hard copy DVDs, my people. Yes. Listen to This is the G Podcast and subscribe. All links at Castropolis.net. It's Motivational Monday. Let's wrap our daily with a motivational minute with Pastor D. It's Motivation Monday. Good morning. And this is Pastor D with your Monday Motivational Minute. I'm reminded that we being in the South, that uh, most of us love a good buttermilk biscuit. It reminds me of a farmer who said uh, when he began to pray that he didn't like buttermilk, he didn't like lard, and he didn't like white flour. But when you mix them all together, they sure produce some great buttermilk biscuits. I want to remind you that God does the same thing in our lives. When things don't look good, they don't feel good. They don't seem to be working out for our good, that God has a way of just allowing us to wait and let him mix it all together. And he records that things work out for our good if we just wait on him. I want to encourage you on this Monday to just wait on him and keep pressing toward the mark. Thanks, Pastor D. Contact information for Pastor D is on today's show notes. This has been This is the G Podcast Daily. Daily news and knowledge to help you get through your Monday. Have a great day.